Anti-aircraft gunners of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 110th Separate Motorized Brigade have shot down another Russian Su-25 in Pokrovsky direction of eastern Donetsk region, Ukrainian telegram channels reported on Tuesday. Operational Strategic Group of Troops, Kortitsia, reported that the Su-25 attempted to fire at the positions of the Ukrainian Defense Forces units in the eastern Donetsk region. This was the second time in the past few days that Ukrainian troops destroyed a Russian Su-25. It is worth emphasizing that anti-aircraft gunners from a separate mechanized brigade named after General Mark Bazruko shot down a Russian Su-25 attack aircraft on July 19. The aircraft was destroyed in the steppes of the Ukraine's Donbass region. Thanks to the accuracy and professionalism of Ukrainian anti-aircraft gunners, Russian aviation has decreased by one combat aircraft, a Ukrainian telegram channel wrote, while reporting the downing of Russian Su-25. Две тысячи двадцать четвертого року позиция ракета пішла за цілю. Горить. Я бачу, що літак горить. Є підбили. Давай уходимо. Що піза стрілянку, да? Ну, тарілки от это офіцерська була. Зато пострілю целе. Тарілки били, да. Тепленькая, да? А, ну прохладненькая, это хорошо. Бока разложили все, блядь. Russia presses Belarus to send army to Ukraine. In recent weeks, there have been several notable political events forming a certain logical chain which should be analyzed and comprehended, Belarusian political scientist Vital Shyanku writes on Facebook. As early as the 3rd of June, Lukashenko speaks of tension on the Ukrainian border and says that recently there have allegedly been thousands of calls to military commissariats from people asking to be taken into the army and given weapons. Belarusian troops move to the Ukrainian border to the appropriate howls of propaganda. On July the 13th, during a visit to the 56th Anti-Aircraft Missile Regiment in Luninets district, unexpectedly, as it seems even for the generals, Lukashenko declares about the elimination of tension at the border with Ukraine. Now we do not have any complications with the Ukrainians and I hope we will not have any in the future. Therefore, there should not be any unnecessary activities, the expert says. The troops are indeed withdrawn, which is confirmed by both Belarusian generals and Ukrainian sources. And what's next? And then Russian drones, carrying up to 40 kilograms of explosives, suddenly start flying over Belarus. One of them reportedly flew about 350 kilometers across the territory of Belarus on the night of July the 13th in the direction of Slavonic Bazaar, where Lukashenko was. Coincidence? I don't think so. I think we are witnessing a rather significant turn. Earlier, proceeding from all public statements and actions known to us, we drew conclusions that Lukashenko had managed to convince Putin that the direct participation of Belarusian troops in the war was unnecessary. 
So this state of affairs is very likely to change now. It seems that Moscow is pushing and insisting with various hints and concrete actions, such as the ones I described above, demanding from Lukashenko to join the war, he added.